good afternoon from Zamboanga, the beautiful city of Zamboanga in Mindanao in the Philippines guys. Today is my second day here and we're gonna explore the kind of just the downtown area and mainly the port, the pier area right by the water and we're gonna go try some foods, some local foods, do like a little street food tour and just kind of take a walk around this area and What's really beautiful about this city is it's a very historical city and you can see a lot of the buildings are still preserved from those historical times. Like, look at this building right here. Like, this has to be at least from probably the late, early 1900s or late 1800s. A lot of these buildings are very old. So, you have a lot of like history here. So, I'm just taking a walk through. Hello, how are you my friend? What, what year is this building from? Ah, uh, building is Montenegro. How old is this building? Ah, Terera one. It's like very old, huh? Okay. Uh, Hi, how are you, sir? Where I see you? What did you? How are you doing? Time. I have a question. How yeah. old are some of these buildings? Ah, uh, mga 40 years ago. Oh, 40? This, this looks more than 40. This yes. looks like maybe early 1900s or something. Oh, 1900. Yeah. yeah. This is the building. This old okay. old building. Ha, and and where is the fort? Uh, 100 years. 100 years. It looks like it. Yeah, oh. but it it still is in good shape. It looks like you guys take care of the yeah, buildings. Yeah. Where is the fort, Pilar? Uh, here. This yeah. way. Okay. So no, go straight. No, no, no. So, so many. You. No, 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 no. I'm walking. I, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, this way. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This way and left. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Same to bye, bye. You. <laughs> so we're gonna walk over to the water area. Hello. We're gonna walk over to the fort first because I want to go see what the fort looks like. But as you walk through this city, you can see the amount of history through here hey what's up bro how are you <laughs> everybody wants to say hello here because i don't think they're used to vloggers here as i stated before i came to this place because i haven't seen a lot of vloggers do this a lot of vloggers haven't covered this city of zamboanga so i figured why not show you guys something different in the philippines look at some of these old trucks that you have here amazing Alrighty, guys before i went to the water area I figured let me stop by this Fort Pilar and check it out for myself. There's a lot of history here. Um, it's a Spanish fort actually, a 17th century fort. Founded as a southern outpost of Spanish domain under the supervision of Malcor de Vera, 1635. Attacked by the Dutch, 1646. Deserted when troops were concentrated in Manila to drive away Chinese pirates in 1663. Reconstructed in 1666. Wow, it's been through a lot. When you walk in here, there's a certain kind of peace that you feel. This is the Fort Pilar. I just told you guys the history, the brief history on it, but wow. It is really, really marvelous. Amazing. Super, super beautiful. People just hang out here. This was once a place that was used to guard this city. In the 17, 1600s. I mean, it's quite amazing when you come to some of these places, these historical places, you really do feel... Hello, how are you? <laughs> you really do feel like um, you've come back in time, you know? Which honestly is like a feeling that I've been feeling every time I go to historical places anywhere I am in the world. And it's one of my favorite feelings. I'm, I am a history nerd a little bit. I know you guys don't love when I make history videos, but this is not a history video. I just want to show you this fort and then I'm going to go to the water area and get some food. Wow. Beautiful. See the water is over there. done quite a nice job with this city. Hey, how are you sir? So far I am loving the vibe of this city. It really has its own charm that 
I haven't experienced in any other city in the Philippines. It's almost like an untouched place. I don't know what this is. It's like a row of like restaurants. Hi, how are you? How you doing? Hi, how are you? How are you? Good, good. How are you doing? Can I deserve it? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. I don't have my passport, but I can give you. So yeah, it seems like there's like a bunch of like restaurants along this row here, different places to eat. Maybe we'll try something and see what they have. But first, let's go check out the water and the pier. But like I was saying, I mean, just a beautiful, beautiful city, great people. Everybody here, as you may be seeing in my videos, is just so welcoming. They want to know about you. I don't think they're used to seeing foreigners as much as obviously the bigger cities. So I think they're quite curious and, and just nice people. So it's been really nice. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> So this place is called Paseo del Mar. It's like a park that they built, some restaurants Hello. and things. Hello, how are you? I'm good. Good? How about you? Good. What kind of food do you guys sell? Squid, calamari. Squid? Calamari? Oh, calamari squid. wow. Can, I, will, I will come try some. First I will check this out, then I will come. Okay, thank you. <laughs> So here we are guys, right by the water. It's really beautiful. The tide is really high. And I think you can see like these kids are floating through on their boats. Hello. Uh, where are you? Huh? Uh, <laughs> Sorry. You can see mountains in the distance. You can see some big dish. <laughs> it's really beautiful. Nice port dock that you can walk along. I mean, what a beautiful city, guys. Honestly, it's a small place, but a lot of wonder encapsulated in such a small place. I really, really recommend you guys come and visit the city. Hello. Hello. Everybody's asking for money. Oh, look at that boat going by. So this is like the little park area that they built in Paso, Paseo del Mar. Musically gyrating dancing fountain. Looks like at this time the fountain is not running, but I'm sure at some point. Hello. How are you? Good. And they have like a nice swing set for the kids. If you have any kids. Looks like that's a place where people perform like a stage and stuff but very nice charm here in this downtown area of Zamboanga. So far guys, really, really loving this place, honestly. Just has a real beauty to it that you don't see, like I said, you don't see this kind of beauty in too many cities here in the Philippines. But this has maintained this old classic vintage charm. Now I wanna go try some of that food, so let's go. I know you guys always want to see me eating food and I don't mind. Trust me, I love to eat food. So let's go try some food. Alrighty, so as I promised these people, I want to try their fried calamari. They have some fried calamari here. So let's try it out. Hello! Look at this. Looks like they have some fried calamari here, which looks really yummy. And it has to be good because we're right by the water here. So all the seafood they have is very fresh. So that's exciting. Hi, uh, can I get some fried, cal fried calamari? Thank you. Just want to try one cup and see how it tastes. We'll try a few different foods on the block. Hello. Uh, can I try this uh, fried calamari? Yes. What's this? Um, chicken. Chicken assorted. Oh, it's chicken. Okay, I would take. Chicken. I would take fried calamari. Yeah. Uh -huh. I have to try some seafood. How much is one? 50. 50 pesos, okay. And you put, what is this? Um, vinegar. Okay, sure, yeah. Um. Yeah, please. Ooh, wow, look at that. Putting the vinegar and then stick. stick for dipping. Can I sit, sit down here? Yes. Yeah, thank you. All right. So this is some fried calamar. And we can sit by the water and try some. Hi. Yes. All right. Hello, how are you? <laughs> what are you cutting here? Mango. Ah, what do you make with this? Uh, we put um, bagonyata. You know bagonyata? No, I don't know. Uh, 
It's a small shrimp. Small shrimp. Small shrimp. Oh, with the sh with the mango. Yeah. Mm, interesting. Maybe I have to try that too. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let me eat this first and then yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's try this fried calamari, guys. Give me my taste test now. Here we have, this is all clumped up. But let's see if we can separate it. Oh, there we go. Here we have it. Hmm. Wow. So, the vinegar that they put in it, it doesn't taste like your traditional vinegar that you might be used to. It's actually very fruity. It almost, I feel like they probably put some like mango or fruits in it because it has a little bit of a fruity, but also that sour vinegar taste, but it kind of, the sweet kind of balances it out. Wow. And the squid is very fresh. I mean, you can imagine how close we are to the water here. So the seafood is going to be good. Mm, sorry, guys. Mm. Oh, very good. Mm. It is definitely up there with some of the best fried calamari that I've tried by far. Mm. So, it's an interesting taste. Because usually you eat fried calamari with like marinara sauce, but this vinegar, amazing. I'm going to demolish this, guys, and then we're going to go uh, 50 pesos, by the way. Less than a dollar for this. I mean, I love this city. That was quick, all done. Now let's go try some other stuff here. Thank you, that was very good. Do you put some kind of like fruit in the vinegar? No. Oh, because it also has like a little bit of a sweet taste, yeah. so yeah. But sugar. You want to try some? Uh, uh, sure, yeah, yeah. Just a little bit, because I'm trying to try some it, different uh, things. Oh, whoa, <laughs> very nice. This is how it comes out fresh. Fresh Can I try one fresh one? Yeah. One fresh piece? Uh, okay, thank you so much. Oh, look, they got a nice fresh piece. Mm. Oh, wow. It's even better fresh. Mm. It's so crispy. Even without the vinegar, it tastes good. Ooh. And what's this? This is the mango with balongata. What is it called? Mango with balongata. Balongata. Mm. Yeah. And you have to dip it in the sauce. Wow, look at this, guys. What's the name of this restaurant? Alabar. Alabar. Oh, Alabar. Okay, okay. Very nice. I'm going to try this. I don't know what this is, but let's try it out. It's mango with some kind of sauce. Very interesting. I've never seen this before. And the mango is not totally ripe, actually. It's like still a little bit. Take vegetables. Bro. Whoa, look at this. More food. Some crabs. Right? We call this a kuracha. Kuracha. Like a kokaracha? Kuracha. Oh, okay. Very nice. So much seafood here because obviously we're right by the water. So this is mango with shrimps, right? Something like that? With shrimp? Yeah. Mmm. Wow, it's really good. I'm impressed. I didn't expect this to be that good. I love mango, but this has like a kind of a vinegar kind of taste as well. Like I said, the mango is not super sweet because it's not fully ripe yet, right? But it's amazing. Mm. Wow. Guys, you have to come try out this alabar if you're ever in Zamboanga. How long has this restaurant been here? Quanto años aquí? More than 60 years. More than 60? 60 years. Like 6 zero. 6 zero. Like 60? Yes. Whoa, they've been here for 60 years. So you know they know what they're doing. You can visit the main branch. The main branch. The, uh, this the one Asian is the one. delicacy of Sambanga. This is the Coracha. delicacy. The crab. Coracha. Coracha. And what's the name of this again? Uh, that's mango with balongata. No, what's the, like, does this have a special name in the, no? It's just mango with? Balongata. I can't say that, but bagung something, I don't know. 
Wow, it's really yummy. Now guys, they gave me a drink. This is pomelo, which is a fruit. I don't know how to say it in, in English, but it's a, it's a special fruit that you find a lot in a lot of Southeast Asian countries. Let's try it out. Oh my God, so sweet. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> Very sweet. <laughs> They're laughing at me. <laughs> But it's very sweet, very yummy. So refreshing it too. Oh my gosh. I'm in heaven. My air travels. I will give you my card. Amazing guys. Everything here at Al Alva Alavar restaurant. Woo. I mean, wow. So guys, by the way, this is the head where's the head chef? This is the head chef. What's your name? My name is Joel Francisco. Your food is amazing, man. And also, I'm trying to give them money, but they're not taking my money. Um, they're giving me all of this for free, which I don't feel comfortable about, but I guess they're just too nice here in Zamboanga. The people are very, very kind. Thank you guys so much. I really enjoyed it. And I will be back. Oh, okay, one more thing. What is this, rice? No, that's tamal. Tamal. Tamal, what is it? Bihun. Satangon. Satangon with chicken. What is satangon? Satangon. Noodles. Noodles. Okay. With chicken. With chicken. Uh, let's try this. Ah, can you help me open, open like this? It? Thank you. With egg. Oh. Wow. What's we call tamal? Tamal. Wow. Look at this, guys. Look at that. When you open it, it's inside of a banana leaf. Yeah. And you open it, it has like these vermicelli kind of noodles. The, the outer layer is like a. It's a rice rice cake and they have egg and some chicken inside as well so let's try a bite wow these guys are really taking care of me they're giving me all the good food let's try a bite here we go very everything is good here the chef knows what he's doing. Mm. What is this called? Tamal. Tamal. This is tamal. It's like um, just a small little kind of snack, but very, very yummy. Very interesting. I've never tried this before. Is this also like a specialty here or it's like a Filipino delicacy? This one is the specialty. That's the specialty. Okay. With alabar sauce. You guys are gonna fill me up. I have to try more foods. <laughs> wow. I mean, this is just such a nice snack. Chicken, egg, noodles, rice cake. The banana leaf gives it a little bit of a flavor. It's not spicy, it's not too salty, it's just right. Mm. Wow. Amazing. With my pomelo juice. So guys, I finished all of this. They gave me so much to try and they're not even letting me pay. Super kind. If you're here in Zamboanga, make sure you come to Alavar, the head chef. Yeah, there. That's the name of the restaurant. And I'll show the outside too. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Have a good day. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So this is the place. Alaba. Right by the water too. And they have multiple branches, so it's not. This is not the only one. I saw some other stuff on the block that I that I wanted to try as well. Some interesting things. Let's go see what they have here. Hmm, what's this? Mamang's greasy spoon. Yes, sir. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Yes, sir. I'm fine, sir. Mamang's greasy spoon. Yes, what do sir. you guys have? Uh, we have anire, sir. What's your specialty? Uh, we have pyanggang, sir. Pyanggang manok. What's pyanggang? Pyanggang, it's also uh, like uh, chicken, sir. Like chulaitum, sir. Okay. okay. I'll try one of those. Yes. So, guys, this is uh, known as Mama Yang's. 
It's a halal spot actually as well. Which is halal food, right? 100% halal. 100% halal, guys. Right on the water as well. So we're gonna we're gonna sit down and try some food here. Wow, very nice. Is that oh, is that also yes. say part of this? Same, same, oh, okay, same. very nice. It's also the same, sir. Very nice. And what's this? That's a liquor bagger, sir. You can make a shake? Yes, shake. Okay, can yeah. I try one of these yes. also? Okay, sir. Very nice. One, sir. It's called a knickerbocker? Knickerbocker. Very nice. We have Thank ice you. cream and fruits. Ice cream, ice cream as fruits. well? Okay, yes. I will try. Dessert Papaya. after dinner. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, All right. Look at this. You can sit right by the water. Hello. Hello. <laughs> nice little spot. Everybody's sitting down. Family's enjoying. You can see the water. I don't know why they have these fences up because it kind of blocks your view, but I'm sure there's a purpose to it. Maybe birds and stuff. But we're gonna sit down and try some of this uh, food here. That's, I don't know what I ordered, but the guys, something like payangang or something like that. We're gonna try that out and I will give you guys a taste test. But so far, the food has been absolutely delicious. Oh, I am in heaven. You know, another thing that I've noticed about this city of Zamboanga, I think just due to the proximity of being by the water, I think the weather here is a little bit nicer. It is humid, obviously, being close this close to the water, it does cause the weather to be humid. But at the same time, I think it gives you a lot of breeze, the water. And since we're so close to it, you definitely feel that breeze and it doesn't feel as hot as it does in Manila or some of the cities up more north. It's, um, it's actually really nice because I was just in Manila and it was super, super hot. But here it's definitely a, not, a lot, not a lot, but definitely feels cooler, which is nice. So this is called Biangang Manok. Biangang Manako. And what exactly, can you explain what it is? Uh, that's uh, like Sunuk Lang, sir. What is it? Like Sunuk Lang. I don't know. Uh, in, in our language, Sunuk Lang. Yeah. Yes. What is it? And what is the sauce? Like that, sir. Coconut. 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 Yes. Oh, like okay. Spicy, sweet. Okay. okay. Yes. Spicy and sweet and sweet, coconut. Sweet and sour. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. All right, guys. So, we have some sweet and spicy. It's Pyangang, uh, something like that, I guess. And so the chicken has kind of like this greenish black sauce. I know it doesn't look super appetizing, but we're gonna try it out. It's spicy, sweet. It's actually made with coconut. That's why, that's what gives it the dark color. I guess they they put um, all the whole coconut and grind it and use that to put it over the chicken. So let's try it out and see how it tastes. Oh man, look at this. Once you open this chicken up, you can see how tender it is on the inside. Look at that. Mm. Yeah. So, we're gonna take it, take some rice. Mm. Wow. Mm. Yep. You can definitely taste the um, the grill, the charredness of the of the grill. Um, you can taste the coconut. But it's not overbearing. It's not too spicy. I guess if you take one of these red peppers with it, it would be more spicy. But, oh, wow, so fresh, guys. Everything, honestly, if I could describe all of this food in one word, it would just be fresh. If everything's been so fresh. And that's what I love. I wasn't able to get food like this in Manila, you know? And the good thing about this is it's halal, so for any of you out there who only eat halal or don't eat pork or anything like that, you don't have to worry. You're good here. Mm. Amazing. That one, sir. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, wow. Delicious. Look at this, guys. Got a knickerbocker. I have no idea. It's like a bunch of different kind of fruits and jellies and mango ice cream. Oh my God. I have to try this next. Let me wait. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. So this is like their original kind of thing. I'll try this in a second. All right guys, we're gonna take a break from the food for a second and try some of this sweet because I don't want it to melt. Look at the mango ice cream, some fruits, like strawberries, some berries, uh, some red beans, and like some pieces of jelly and custard. Oh man, looks amazing. Let's try it out. So here we have it. Ooh, banana. Wow. Mm. 
so much flavor. So many different flavors. The banana with the mango, with the red beans. Amazing. Oh. Watermelon also. Mm. I am in heaven. Oh my god. It's so good. It's called the Knickerbocker. Shout out to the New York Knicks. Mm. This doesn't satisfy you, I don't know what kind. Look at this guys, I finished everything here. Amazing. When I tell you, so far, all of the food that I've tried here in Zambonga has been on point. Everything. There hasn't been one thing that I've tried where I was like, eh, everything has been good. Obviously there's some more that I like than the others, but amazing. I mean, I'm genuinely impressed. This cuisine here is just amazing. Let's find out how much all of this is. Wow. Everything was amazing, guys. Very, very yummy. So how much? What's the damage? Uh, 243. 243? Yes. Okay. A little bit. That's not bad. That's not bad for all of that food, guys. Welcome to Maceo. Yeah. Guys, if you come to um, uh, Zamboanga, you have to come to Mamang's. Mamang's greasy spoon. It's 100% halal. 100% halal. Yes. It's organic. It's organic as well. You can definitely tell the food is very fresh. Alrighty guys, so if you come here, definitely a must try is Mamang's greasy spoon. Amazing. Oh man, I am in heaven. Everything is good here. I mean, from the ice cream, to the, to the foods, to the people, to the vibe, to the coast, the water. You know, I'm surprised more people don't visit this city. I think it's because everybody says, oh, you should be scared or it's not safe or, you know, watch out. Or be, and to be honest with you, I have not felt one ounce of danger. I mean, thank God I've been safe here and everybody's been so kind and welcoming and it's just amazing. I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the downtown, some of the history and food. I give you guys everything in one video. I mean, who else is giving you this? Nobody. So, remember that. With that being said, guys, I'm gonna wrap this one up. I'm full. I've shown you guys everything. More Zamboanga content coming soon. Remember, continue to learn, continue to grow. And there is no growth until you leave your comfort zone. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.